Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat Zhang Bao on Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Okay, so we're going to use Unstoppable Force, and then we want to jump or double jump over these flame attacks whilst making your way in. And for the most part here, we're going to be doing a few light attacks and then a heavy attack, or a few light attacks and then a special attack. So here we go. A few light, then special. A few light, then special. Uh, rinse and repeat. Uh, for this one, you can deflect it, although it's quite tricky to do. It's probably the uh, hardest move to deflect in this boss fight. Uh, we're going to rebuff back up, head on over. A few light and then a heavy. Uh, you can deflect the fire as well. So jump over the fire or deflect it. The choice is yours. Uh, you can also use this heat proof ice. So if you do get to you know, set on fire a lot, then feel free to use the ice to help with that. Uh, so we're going to rebuff. Head on back over to him. So a few light and then a heavy. Uh, when he does his melee combos like that, you just want to be holding down block and uh, trying to deflect as many as you can do. And when he kind of like wiggles his head around like that, it's usually going to be one of those spin to win attacks. So just watch out for that. So a few light and then a heavy. A few light and then a heavy. So on and so forth. We're going to back up here and heal up. It's going to be a grab attack. So if he kind of glows red, and then disappears, it means he's gonna try and grab you. And uh, you might do that when he summons these adds as well. So at roughly around half health, he'll summon some adds. And sometimes it's a good idea to have your camera locked off or at least have uh, the boss on the screen because he tries to grab you with a critical uh, attack. And uh, obviously if you're not looking, it's quite easy for him to grab you. Uh, these adds will give him a buff or multiple buffs. So you want to be heading over to those adds and taking those out like so. Uh, we can also use a spell called Absorb Vitality. So if you want your allies to absorb health uh, as they're attacking the boss, you can cast that and it will also cast it on the allies as well. It'll help them kind of stay in the fight a little bit longer if you want them to uh, get their health back. Uh, we can also use like Enhanced Defense. We've got a few other spells. Feel free to use you know whatever is at your disposal. It's going to go for the grab, so watch out for that. So we're going to deflect it, a few light and then a special. Uh, rinse and repeat that, a few light and then a special. Just keep on smashing that bad boy. Uh, jump over the flames once again. Uh, for the melee combo, just hold down block and try to deflect as and when you can do. Just watch out for these spells. So every time that he uh, ring a ling a ding dongs that bell, there's always going to be a lot of uh, fire and sorcery and stuff. So uh, just listen out for that bell. That's going to be the beam towards us, so you can deflect that at him. We've broken his stance, so we can use a fatal strike. There we go, and that is the end of the fight. This is the equipment that we used in the fight. These are the two accessories that we used. These are the spells that we used, and these are my character's stats. If you want to continue your video game training, then check out one of these videos right here. I've covered loads of games such as Elden Ring, Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, and loads more. Some videos have just popped up right now. Feel free to check them out and give them a click. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.